What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? We are here back at Universal Studios Hollywood for another Halloween Horror Nights construction update. And we're starting right back here in the Curious George area. Now, something to note that I found really funny, because uh, Murdy did mention it at Midsummer Scream about, you know, people finding out what things are, looking over the Curious George parking lot. They've actually fenced the entire top off. And you cannot get footage up there anymore. So right now we're looking at the already announced Halloween 1978 maze and the newly announced at Midsummer Scream, Scarecrow, The Reaping. And this is going to be a fun one. He gave us a lot of behind the scenes looks at it and I'm really looking forward to seeing this. It's based around the Dust Bowl back in the 1800s. So I'm excited to see that. And of course, we got a special video for Halloween 1978 coming out later this week, Wednesday to be in fact about a certain a certain house from Halloween. So stay tuned for that. Now, as you can see with Scarecrow, they finally have taken off the bag of said Scarecrow since being announced now. Uh, so that looks like a really cool facade. Like I'm really looking forward. This is on the top of my hype list, hype list right now for originals for the, for the event. I'm very much looking forward to seeing how this maze performs well. This, if anyone knows for your Horror Nights history, this is one that came from Orlando. They took it over and now they're doing their own spin on it and what Murdy's doing sounds really dope. And then if you look over here, it looks like uh, since the last time I was here, um, I've seen photos of this though that they've done some more aging on the Myers house, added the vines and everything to make it look a little bit more run down to give it that original Halloween look. So I'm liking what I'm seeing with that. It looks like there's a little bit more uh, outside the facade as far as the front yard and everything. It looks all like dead grass and whatnot. That's really cool. And this looks like it's coming along very swiftly. Um, there's also some white curtains there. Those might be potential scares. Who knows? But yeah, Scarecrow is looking really good. I'm glad they unveiled a lot more since Midsummer Scream and Halloween. I'm looking forward to that as well. Let's go check outside the park, see what else they have going on. So here is the speculated Liarona maze. Hasn't been announced yet, but now the front looks pretty different. We're gonna go around the sides and see if there's any new things that we can see added onto it. But uh, yeah, it's Liarona. We're just waiting for the announcement by now, but very excited for this one to be returning. Love as many originals as we can get at this uh, event. Now if you look closely right there, you can see some spotlights down, some lighting going on. Uh, looking good for La Arona. I'm very much looking forward to it. Should be dope. See if we've gone as far to extend it all the way out towards the city. So this is going to be a little bit of an extension this year. I'm pretty stoked for it. This might be our exit right here, actually. So it's seeming like the back of the maze that we just walked through by Despicable Me might be your exit point of the maze. This just looks like another area. There's black walls over there for the curtain. But it's seeming like the back of the maze will be the exit this year for Liarona, rumored Liarona. So we'll have to wait and see, but that'd be cool because you can actually walk down all of French Street right here and then go down to Pet's Place, especially if they're having a rumored maze in The Walking Dead. Realism was an essential element for Apollo 13. After all, we were a moment many Americans witnessed on television. We thought about filming in Houston, Texas, where the original control room of the Apollo missions still exist. Unfortunately, NASA's engineers didn't have filmmaking in mind when they built mission control. Since there was no room for the elaborate camera trains and tracks we needed for the shots, we had to build our own mission control. Stairs window, the upper left face, you can wave hello to mother, usually uh, sitting up there watching the trams go by. She doesn't get out much, uh, apparently doesn't really be moisturizing, but we don't need to. Uh, pass her, we continue into another fantastic set. This is the incredible crash site of Steven Spielberg's version of War of the World in the theaters back in 2005. It's Tom Cruise, Dakota Fanning, and Tim Robbins. Yes. 
design set was perfectly designed by set that was all designed around the vision of the You forget to sit down and talk about the world. Well, I thought, what if the 747 goes down right in a big river? Because it's, it's just something you don't see. You're doing good. Uh, if my chance are wondering, yes, that is an actual aircraft, a 747, that was destroyed specifically for this incredible scene. Also, what I find uh, kind of interesting about this area, I have to scooch down a little bit because I sit a little higher in the guide seat, but the ridge above the crash site here, you'll see some uh, houses up there. Those are not sets or anything like that. Those are private residences. You know, there's no belong to Universal, so some people uh, get up in the morning, have their toast and coffee, and you know, get to look out over the uh, Universal back lot, and including the uh, fourth world's crash site. And, and, uh, I think that would be kind of strange, but yeah, these are all, I guess. Anyway, we will make our exit uh, into an area called Falls Lake. Falls Lake, as it is Jupiter's Claim. Jupiter's Claim is the actual sets from Academy Award winner Jordan Peele's latest film, Nope, which is currently in theaters. And we are going to be coming in for a uh, closer look. And you know, who better to tell us about this setup than they themselves? Movie magic only happens when a team of collaborators, often in the hundreds, work together to take an impossible mission and bring it to life. This is Jupiter's Planet, a nostalgic, small-time, Southern California amusement park owned by former child star Ricky Jupiter. Over there, look into the winky room and have your picture taken just like the kids in the old 90s movie Kid Share. That's what this whole place is loosely based on. Remember that one? No? Why? Well, a little further down, you can see the brand new Star Lasso Experience. Built to showcase an unbelievable new live show. It's not looking so wild. Welcome to the world of no. TLV Pops, bro? Hell yes, yeah! I, that, that, that is I. Yeah! I'm the guy from. Bro, I'm your number one a, subscriber. From a long man. lost channel. I've been the oh, subscriber for so sure. long, I got down notifications, but I'm not getting anything. What's up with that? <laughs> you know, that's uh, that seems to be an issue a lot of people are getting too. Um, I don't know how to I don't know how to explain that one. And that you. other so, channel, Second Star, bro. <laughs> that one, uh, that one you don't talk to me about. That's uh, that's someone else that you can go talk to about. I'll write them um, a letter probably. You can write them a letter. They probably won't respond to you. Maybe an invoice would be better. Invo um, but <laughs> <laughs> invoice would imply that I owe them money. <laughs> I don't owe you guys nothing. Hey, all right, that's all I'm gonna say. But guys, construction right now is looking awesome. This is so that cool. light too. Oh wow, this is a fancy camera, Double. but this is really awesome to see. I mean, I haven't been in the park in so long, but... It's been like what, two weeks since? It's been cleared? three weeks. Three weeks that I haven't, I haven't been in the park. So. The COVID? Not just because of COVID, just because... What the heck were we doing? We were doing something. Oh, that's right, we were filming a podcast with this guy right here. <laughs> um, no, but it's been a while since I've been here, and I'm going to be honest, I'm more excited about that construction than... The Horror Nights construction. That I mean, is to be so fair with awesome. you, I just I don't have a theme park channel, so you know. Oh, I, I'm just saying that. But I on. agree with you. But come you on, know, Yoshi. Come on. But listen, come on, listen, Yoshi. Listen, listen, Yoshi. Listen, okay. I've been waiting 20 years to school kids in Mario Kart, and I'm gonna do just that when it opens up. So can't you be more excited? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm gonna do just oh, that. Oh, I'm gonna do just that. Yeah, yeah, 20 years ago. 
I played Mario Kart for the first time. 20 years later, I'm gonna live Mario Kart. And that over and there? He's the first ass. That before. over there? Or, I, I feel like you're excited for that over there. I mean, we gave it away. Yeah. We gave it away. Yeah. That's, we're, that's we're gonna, gonna be something. That's we're gonna give be it away. fun. Um, how do you feel though that we're not going back in the, the back lot? You missing it? I'm oh, missing it. Listen. What do you think? I missed the back lot. Yeah. But I have a feeling that we have a good lineup of mazes this year. And maybe next year we'll get the back lot. I'm still waiting for them to bring back the Jurassic World. Well, That's I'm a waiting throwback. for them to bring back Jurassic Yo, Park in the dark, but Jurassic World. I'm just in saying, the dark. Knights of Horror Origins has been giving me a lot of throwbacks lately, and I miss a lot of things that we. Oh, used to have. I saw I saw the most recent one, and on the map it says Jurassic Park in the dark. And I'm like, yeah, ah, dude, that was. A where I think is that? Was that? the last year they ever did it. So. I think so. I think you're right. Yeah, that was probably the last. Right. But this is gonna be new. This is gonna be new. Going back it's all there. Be good. I'm excited. I'm, I'm, I'm interested to see how we're gonna get back. There. And we got weekend down here too. <laughs> That's right, I didn't even talk about that. Ladies and gentlemen, the weekend. I gotta talk about that. Yeah, yeah, I'll talk about that. <laughs> Hey, stop filming your construction update while I'm filming my construction update, Tim. Huh? Stop filming yours while I'm filming mine. Stairs in the bedroom window, left hand side. And now it is so cool at night, everybody. Welcome to the crash site from War of the Worlds. Production designed by Rick Carter, directed by Steven Spielberg. And you best believe it, that's a real Boeing 747 airplane. Well, everybody, we are making our way into somewhere very special. We work with amazing generational directors, and now the brand newest addition to our tour. I made that word up. Brand newest addition to our tour. Nostalgic, small time, Southern California amusement park owned by former child star Ricky G. Over there, look into a winking well and have your picture taken just like the kids in that old 90s movie Kid Share. This old place is used baseball. Remember that one? No? Well, I a little further down, you can see the brand new Star Lasso experience. 